One of the most spectacular and important terrestrial ecosystems in the Bahamas is the Bahamian pine woodlands, also known as the pinelands. The dominant tree species in this habitat is the Caribbean pine, and we have a special variety found only in the Bahama archipelago, and it goes by the scientific name Pinus caribbean bahamensis. This variety is found on only a few islands in the archipelago, namely the northern Bahamian islands of Abaco, Grand Bahama, New Providence, and Andros, as well as a few islands in the Turks and Caicos. In the Bahamas, this ecosystem is the dominant plant community on those four northern islands, covering hundreds of acres of land. The Pinelands is a fire-dependent ecosystem and requires fire every few years to minimize competition from the coppice understory often seen growing under the pine trees. Without fire, the coppice understory would eventually grow and outcompete the pine trees for resources. Despite the regular and sometimes intense fire regime, life still abounds in the pine woodlands of the Bahamas. And in this video, we're going to talk a little bit more about the variety of different species that you could find in this amazing ecosystem called the Bahamian Pinelands. The Bahamian Pinelands is home to five of our six endemic bird species. One of them is the Bahama Oriole. This species is found only on the island of Andros and is our most critically endangered bird with a current population of less than 300 individuals. It was also found on the island of Abaco but was extirpated off of the island in the 1990s. The Bahama Woodstar Hummingbird has the largest endemic bird species distribution in the Bahamas can be found from Grand Bahama straight down to Acknes and Crooked Island near Guana, as well as the Turks and Caicos Islands. This endemic species feeds on nectar and small insects and is found in the Bahamian Pinelands. If you are in the Bahamian Pinelands and you listen carefully, you may hear the call notes and song of another Bahamian endemic the Bahama Yellowthroat. This small warbler can be found on several islands in the Bahamas and was sadly extirpated off of New Providence in the 1990s. Another Bahamian bird that you could find in the Bahamian Pinelands is the Bahama Swallow. In the Pinelands, this endangered Bahamian endemic nests in holes of pine trees that were created by the hairy woodpecker. One of the most important bird species in the Pinelands is the hairy woodpecker. This species can be heard drilling into pine trees, both alive and dead, and other trees in its search for insects hiding within the bark and wood. The woodpecker has a strong, sturdy beak with a spongy skull to absorb the shock of constant drilling. The woodpecker's brain is also tightly encased within the skull to prevent its brain from getting damaged. The tail feathers are also strong and sturdy to support the bird as it drills into trees. It also has a long barbed tongue with sticky saliva to help it draw insects out of the wood. Of the three native species of hummingbirds found in the Bahamas, the Cuban emerald is probably the most common species found in the pinelands. This species is a beautiful metallic green with black and white, and like its relative, the Bahama woodstock, it can be found feeding on a variety of species of flowers. The Cuban emerald can also be found eating small insects to get added protein to help supplement its diet. The Cuban peewee is a small and very active flycatcher found in the Bahamian pinelands. It feeds on a variety of insects and it usually catches them while flying and it has a white crescent at the back of its eye which gave it the name crescent eye peewee. This species is found throughout the Bahamas and Cuba and is an endemic Bahamian subspecies. The Greater Antillean Bullfinch is another endemic subspecies found in the Bahamian Pinelands. It feeds on seeds, snails, and fruit, such as the fruit of this metopium tree, or a poisonwood tree. 
Poison wood seeds and fruits contain proteins and lipids that help to supplement the nutritional requirements of birds like bullfinches and even white crown pigeons. This makes poison wood, although a poison tree to humans, a very important food source for birds such as white crown pigeons and great Antillean bullfinches. One of the most colorful native birds in the Bahamas is the Western Spindalis. There are two subspecies that are endemic to the Bahamas and they can be found in the pinelands as well as the coppice forests and residential areas. This species feeds on fruits, flowers and insects. During the spring and summer, plants such as guana berry come into fruiting season and is a welcoming treat for the western spindalis. The fruit, however, is often too big for the birds to swallow, so often they pick the fruit only to drop it. The turkey vulture is a species that is found on the islands of Grand Bahama, Abaco, and Andros. It is a carrion feeder, which means it eats dead animals, and can be seen soaring and riding air currents, keeping its eyes and nose open for dead animals and garbage. By flying high in the air, they can pick up plumes of odors and home in on the smell by flying in circles. Unlike most birds, Turkey vultures have an exceptional sense of smell. Their nose is so keen that they can smell the odor of a dead animal as faint as a few parts per billion of air. The Bahamian Pine Woodlands is also home to a wide variety of other species of animals. The Polymeter Snail is one of a few species of terrestrial gastropods that can be found in the Bahamas and in the Pine Woodlands. Lizard species, such as this Cuban twigonome, can also be found in the pinelands. This species is very cryptic and often hides on the branches or twigs of plants, using its gray color to blend in with the plant it resides on. Its relatively short limbs make it a reasonably slow-moving anole compared to some of its relatives. Thus, it relies on camouflage to help it evade predators. The Bahamian Green Anole is an endemic Bahamian lizard species that can be found throughout the Bahamas. This species is usually found in the crowns of trees. This particular individual is not green because not too far from it is a brown anole and its presence may be stressing out this particular individual. It may also be trying to blend in with its surroundings because being on or near the ground does make lizards more susceptible to predation so keeping a low profile may help it survive. One such predator that is always on the lookout for a tasty lizard snack is the Bahamian racer. This fast-moving species of snake can grow up to four feet long and is endemic to the Bahamas. It is our only venomous snake and feeds primarily on lizards and frogs. The Bahamian Pinelands is one of the most important terrestrial ecosystems in the Bahamas and is the home for hundreds of species of plants and animals. The more we learn about ecosystems like this, the better suited we will be to protecting and conserving habitats like this. By supporting conservation efforts in the Bahamas, you too can assist in protecting all that's ours.